In the world's wealthiest nation, can you fathom that 30 million citizens teeter on the edge of hunger crisis? Due to the escalating food costs that we see, nearly 10% of the U.S. population is confronting the specter of hunger, and approximately 70% of Americans report difficulty in affording their grocery expenses. Furthermore, federal government agencies have issued a warning in a matter of weeks, 32 states are expected to experience a dramatic increase in food insecurity levels as charities and food banks across the nation brace for worst-case scenarios. Over two-thirds of Americans are struggling to pay for groceries as food prices skyrocket, according to the recent data. A retail technology platform reported last week that 69% of shoppers are finding it's challenging to keep up with soaring grocery prices amidst prolonged sky-high inflation that we're all dealing with. Currently, 83% of the people that responded to this data collection indicated that they depend on some form of coupons or loyalty programs at all these different stores to afford putting food on the table. These analysts have concluded that food costs have become unaffordable for the average American. Pretty sad. And ongoing economic challenges suggest that the prices will remain elevated through 2023 into 2024. Simultaneously, more than 30 million Americans are grappling with hunger shortfalls. As warned by the Department of Agriculture, the department has alerted 32 local governments that SNAP benefits will be reduced in early 2023 and be completed by May of 2023 in all 32 states. The SNAP program has ballooned from $60.3 billion in 2019 to 119.5 billion in January of 2023. As Americans struggle with widespread economic disruptions, most households continue to feel the impact of recent food prices. In December, grocery costs were about 10% higher than the previous year, making the timing of the SNAP cuts particularly challenging. In 2023, the cost of everyday essentials reached an all-time high. For instance, we all saw what was going on with eggs in the beginning of the year. They were up 59% more expensive than the previous year. Dairy products like margarine and butter saw a 53% increase. And meat products experienced a combined 29% price hike. Fats and oils rose by 23%. Cereals and bakery products jumped 16% and processed fruits and vegetables surged by 15.5% from the 2022 levels. According to the SNAP's director, this hunger crisis will affect the vast majority of states, with the people losing, on average, about $82 of their SNAP benefits per month. Such states, such as like California and Texas, which are the two biggest contributors to this, California with 5.1 million, Texas with 3.6 million people on benefits. They are under tremendous stress in these states. There is deep concern about the impact of the termination of emergency allowments on millions of families who have relied on this crucial support for the past three years. As people lose their emergency allowments, they will face the same high prices but have less money to purchase food. In essence, we are reverting back to the situation we faced at the height of the pandemic around December of 2020. Of the 30 million people at risk of hunger, nearly a third are already skipping meals, eating less, and turning to food banks to manage grocery costs. According to the most recent monthly survey, aiming to help low-income Americans improve their financial health. In January of 2023, 29% of respondents reported skipping meals, 3% increase from the previous month. A fifth of the respondents said they rely on family and friends for help, a 9% increase from December. Almost a third reported eating less to manage food costs, 
cutting back on meals, a 2% point increase from December also, close to a quarter or 23.5% visited a food bank in the past month, up from 21% in the previous month. In the coming months, more families will face hunger, more people will visit food banks, and the terrible effects of this crisis will become increasingly apparent. Food banks are preparing for the worst case scenarios as food aid is slashed. Demand is already so high that soon they will have no choice but to send people home empty handed with the number of individuals seeking food assistance rising by 65% in December to over 90% as of today. Food banks are at risk of running out of their supplies due to surging food costs. In a few months, charities will be forced to turn people away as there will be not enough food for everyone in need. On the other hand, ABC did report that this inflation is due to these businesses with unnecessary price hikes. There is now evidence that companies are raising their prices beyond the increase in their cost. These corporations are taking advantage of supply chain problems and consumer desperation to inflate prices far more than necessary to cover their own costs, thereby creating this inflation crisis. Supermarkets, banks, and major food corporations are all profiting from this situation, especially as interest rates continue to rise. As costs begin to decrease for companies, consumers' level prices remain elevated making it clear that these corporations prioritize profits over the well-being of those struggling to make ends meet. While supply chain issues and labor shortages were pressing concerns for the businesses in 2022, there is evidence that the cost pressures were easing towards the end of the year for many of these companies. However, price growth for consumer remained significantly elevated and keeps rising. It appears that everyday consumers are being punished for global capitalist corporation greed. As large corporations continue to prioritize their profits over addressing the basic needs of struggling citizens, as the government pushes millions of people closer to poverty and food insecurity, the devastating hunger crisis will force many to confront the consequences of a broken society that fails to meet the basic needs of its citizens. This stark reality cannot be ignored or dismissed. In America, even the most fundamental human needs are becoming luxuries that most cannot afford. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I invite all of you to share your thoughts and your views on this pressing issue. Maybe your comments can help someone out in this huge crisis that we are in.